What's up everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass. And today I'm, free, I'm going to be doing a review on the Boundless Shopify theme. This is a free Shopify theme. A lot of stores use it. It's very colorful, very vibrant. Before we start this video, I just want to quickly thank our sponsor. Discover Profit Calc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. For our review today, we'll be ranking balance on four categories. It's speed, it's customization, it's mobile options, and it's homepage options. Just to start, I'm just gonna go to the balance page I have open here, just to give you an idea of what it looks like fully set up. So there are two options. There's the black and white and the vibrant, giving you a little more uh, customization here and how you want the basic theme to look. Today I'm just going to go to the black and white because that seems to be the most popular. And so I have the demo loaded up here. So overall the theme looks great. It's really meant for visually appealing stores like if you're a clothing brand or you sell something quite artsy and you really want the product image to be the forefront of the display. It's not can't be very technical because there's not a lot of room for documentation underneath. But if you're clothing or something similar it's a great option. So as we look at this home page here you have a nice big sliding hero image, which is quite popular and quite, quite trendy online. So you have two collections here, man and woman. And you also have your display images. This is an option on the home page. And a really good one here because it allows for full grid width. And you can, as you can see, it displays everything quite clearly. You get to the bottom here, just some basic stuff filled out. If we go to the product page, nice big images here. Description, you can have different sizes here. This is a nice selection menu, makes it easy for the customer to decide what they want. Great for clothing options as well, because you have different sizes as well as different colors. As you can see with the product page, the image is on the center of the product page. Two large images here, two large images there. If I just pull a mobile here, there's your image up top, and then your image show up again below. So I have it downloaded on my Shopify store here. So I'm just in the customization section right now. I'm going to go back to the top of the home page. So overall, there's good customization on the home page. You have your announcement bar, so you can show different things. Like you can have a different sale, something similar. You have your header. You can have different images here as well, and your menus here. Whoops, didn't mean to click that. I'm going to go back to the home page. So this brings back to the home page. And on the home page, you have a good sliding navigation on the right on mobile. So click the desktop here to get a fuller view. And other stuff you can add, you can add quite a bit to your homepage, different collections, different featured products. You can add a collection list, blog posts, whatever you want to display on the homepage. The basic options are all here. This is very similar to the other free Shopify themes. They all have a good customization on the homepage for the basic features. There's nothing too advanced, too customizable, but you have a good basic layout. So I'm just going to show you a blog post here. So you can add your blog post down there, maybe a feature product, you maybe you want to to product store or you're trying to move some inventory, you can add one of these feature products here. So I say the home page, I would give it a 7 out of 10. There's not a ton of customization. It's very basic on how you arrange things. A common complaint for Boundless' home page is the image customization. There's not a lot of ability to customize your image size in here. You can basically upload an image and go to surfing here. So your collection image, I just pulled your collection image automatically. So you have to kind of manually resize your images on your back end when you upload them. For example, if you look at the slider image here, it cuts it off in the middle. And so I would just have to go in and manually try to find a fit that works, looks good in both mobile and desktop. So moving on from the home page, we move on to mobile here. So you click on mobile. As I mentioned, the slider gets cut off here. But overall, the mobile is slick as usual for any free Shopify theme. They do a very good job as a lot of sales are done through mobile these days. So nice sliding menu here. I like this bar down here, it gives you some extra customization on a second menu you want to display. Then you go down as well, you have your products, so just click on the product page here. Point clean, you have your one image on top. I have another bar at the bottom as well to give you uh, all the other products. One thing I did notice though on the mobile with the product name just filled out, there's no sliding image up here. So Instead of having a slider where you can go in, the other images are down here, which isn't ideally the best place to put it because you want to put it on top. This way it's easy for the customer to scroll through all of them at once. So it is a common complaint there. So overall, I give them a while, 8 out of 10. There's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't push any boundaries here, but it gives a nice, clean implementation of the mobile website. It's not too cluttered as well. 
So moving on from mobile, we're going to go over to overall customization. So overall customization, you have your images, as I mentioned, it's hard to switch it there. So use the ability to skip the first image, enable product sharing, this is your social icons down here. As for catalog customization, there are some digital options, such as some basic filtering. So if I go to the collection here, you can change how you want to display it, why this, display more of the image. You can add space between images, which are the vendor as well. There's also sorting options at the top, as mentioned, so you can filter by tags, or you can filter alphabetically by time of new to look new to old, and so there's some good basic filtering options on the collection page, as well as have view more versus other pages. In terms of the footer, there isn't a whole lot of customization here. You can add a new menu and you can show the payment icons. So there's no ability to add a, a newsletter sign up or anything like that. You can nothing to change the order as well. It's basically one simple uh, menu, which isn't the greatest if you want to add more to your footer, because it's just going to be displayed on every page of your Shopify website. So overall, for customization, I would give it a 8 out of 10. It doesn't push any values again like mobile, but it has the basic options. And this tends to be quite consistent across the Shopify groups. They're free, which is amazing, and it gives you a basic start. But if you want something more advanced, you probably have to pay for a better fee and to give you more options to help cater more to your store and to your brand. So the last thing here is speed. And so as with all the Shopify themes, the speed is good. And I don't really have a great test here because much of the stuff from Shopify store isn't full of products. But as you can see from the here, form scores that I made, they just have a small load time is good. There's nothing dragging it down, like too many apps or too many large CSS files or HTML files like that. So as we move to GT metrics as well, everything looks good there. So the speed is good, so I give them 10 out of 10. There's no issues with the speed so far. The theme itself doesn't slow down the Shopify store at all. So overall, this is my review for the Mountain Shopify theme. It's great, especially if you have a visually key product collection. So if you're selling something like clothing or something more artsy and you really want to display it in food product images, it's not going to be so much about the technical specifications, it's more about the image of the product, what's it going to look like. That's when you want to use a free theme like Boundless in comparison to the Mountain Shopify theme. If you haven't yet, just click that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, just leave a comment.